Hey everyone, I'm sorry I've been so absent. My life has been chaos the past couple weeks and things are starting to settle down. So, like I posted about, we're going to do a story within Claude. And so the thing that's really nice about working within Claude directly, as opposed to doing everything within the open router, is that you get these things called projects. So a project, think of it like you have multiple chats and then all the chats are in the one project. So then Claude can access all the information in the project. So think of it like a Raptor write story or a novel crafter book, not that organized, but there's a lot of information in there. Still, I want you to be aware of very specific things within your books. So say your character has strawberry blonde hair. Sometimes she goes more red, sometimes she goes more blonde. But if you're 200k into a book and she starts to have black hair because the AI just lost track in all of those words, you're going to have to redirect it and just remember that, hey, this character doesn't have black hair, she's strawberry blonde and then bring it back. So stuff like that is still going to be on you to know those continuity errors. Shorter story, of course, it's going to be a lot easier. You know, you can have a collection of short horror stories, for example, all within this one project, and maybe they have a theme, maybe they have a style. All of that will be here in this project. The thing to keep in mind, though, with Claude is that this so you get some free use with this but you're looking at a subscription so it's 20 bucks a month but you get 3.5 and sonnet 3.5 is really nice to write prose with if you're just looking at it for like brainstorming if you're just looking at it for you know character ideas maybe you don't need sonnet maybe you can get away with haiku which is far cheaper and at that point i would say hey maybe just look at open router and just pay per token kind of style but in september i did an experiment to see you know what it would actually look like to create a book and do revisions and continue to do revisions with claude in this subscription style to see if you know it was worth doing a subscription because the nice thing about this Claude website and this is Anthropic directly the nice thing about it is that it's mobile so open router I've never been able to get my conversations that I had on my phone onto the computer like you copy paste you put them in Google Docs that's fine but I'm talking about I open it here and it's the exact same thing that's on open router on my computer or on my phone it's just not it's not there but Claude you know say I'm driving say you know please don't do this but say you're at a red light and you're like oh my god I have an idea pop it open toss it in it's gonna be there for you when you get home please don't do that but if you do it's going to be there for you. So keep that in mind. I found that it's about 250 long responses, long inputs, long responses. So if, say 250 chapters, 250 long conversation thread kind of thing. That makes it about 20 bucks. And I did that with Sonnet 3.5, both Anthropic and on Open Router. And that's 20 US. It's not a direct comparison because, you know, you put a lot more in and then you put other things in. There's no way to completely mimic it. But if you're having massive conversations, if you're doing multiple books, if you're rewriting multiple books, then consider it try it for a month see if your usage is enough to make sense that you do a subscription or 
is it worth it for you just to have it mobile? That's up to you. So bringing it back, what we're going to do is a really cute book. And another thing that I like about project is that we're going to be doing multiple books within this one project. So I'm going to bring it back to a cozy mystery. I was thinking cute romance, but that really doesn't highlight what the projects can do. Because, okay, we write a 30k cute romance. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be adorable. But that's not really going to highlight what the cool things about the projects do. We're not going to reach the end of multiple conversations, have to start a new conversation, and they all be contained within the project. So let's do a cute cozy romance something adorable we've talked about a cozy romance before like it's the adorable baker who falls in love with the cop and the cop's like oh my god this woman is in my way constantly why is she always at the crime scenes maybe she's the killer and then the baker's like you're missing clues what are you doing and of course he's gorgeous piercing blue eyes chiseled jaw you know the thing AI likes to do very specific character types, unless you tell it otherwise. But let's jump into it. So we're just going to call this Cozy Mystery Series. Uh -huh. Siri, I don't need your help right now. Okay. Cute Cozy Mystery Series. Create the project. All right. This will be all those brainstorming things. I'm not going to get too deep into it. I really wanted this to be an introduction of plot and projects. So just a couple minutes of brainstorming it. We'll do more. This will be a series of really short, quick, easy videos. All right, so a little bit of information there. Okay, cute, cute. Okay, so shorter chapters. Okay, wow. 30 plus books, 25 plus books, 29 books. 10 to 20 books, okay.
Alright, this looks good. Okay, just a few more things I want to address here. Okay, sounds fun. Chip, dressing, and then I'll ask about his background characters, and then we will wrap up this video because we are really good space.
Mm, so we're dating in books 9 and 10. Okay. Very sweet. All right. Dr. Lydia Chun and Tommy Chun. Okay. It wasn't that hard to make the connection. You gave him the exact same last name. Alright, so we are at a really good spot. 